hello everyone welcome to another tutorial in this video i will tell you how to audit user security role access normally we, we provide security roles to a user in organization right so we sometimes remove security roles from user and we add extra security roles so how you can audit that what security roles has been associated or added what security role has been removed or deassociated that we will audit so we'll configure that how we will do that so first let us go to the advanced settings or you can go to admin power platform admin center from powerapps.com and here you will find auditing option right if you go to the environment first select the environment where you want to enable uh, user security role access auditing go to that environment and here we will go to settings so in the settings you have to search auditing okay now click on start auditing option here you have to enable this start auditing option click on the start auditing and click on save this is the first step you have to enable organization wide auditing feature next is you have to enable the auditing feature for entity user and team so go to additional auditing setting which will open the uh, advanced setting legacy system here you have to go to auditing option and in the auditing option you will find entity and field audit settings and the entity and field audit settings you have to navigate to the entity user first then team so just slide down and select the user entity this is the classic uh, solution interface you can use also uh, modern uh, modern power apps interface to enable that so you can find out the system user uh, let me search user So let me just uh, maximize this and search. AAD user is not uh, not that user. The the entity name is system user. Or if you have renamed it, uh, you have to find out that I have renamed it to banker. So let me go to the banker. This one. This is the user entity which I have renamed. That's why it was difficult to find out. But remember that so this is the entity and here you have to go to the uh, property and the property you have to enable auditing so here you will find the enable audit feature uh, if you scroll down now click on this auditing and save it it will update the entity level auditing next go to the team entity and enable that auditing feature again so let me scroll down and uh, go to team so this is my team entity here also i will enable the auditing feature this is my second configuration we have to do so click on auditing and save right so once it is done now let us implement or let us do some security rule addition and removal for a user and see the audit summary so just close this and go to the uh, user security role and go to the users and open a user and just remove and add some security rules for that user so let's say for this user i want to add a security role by using manage rules and i'll give a aib rules and want to remove basic user so i have removed one security role 
and added a new security rule for this user. Now let us see if I can see the audit history for this security rule change or not. Where I can change, where I can check that if you go to advanced settings and audit history here, auditing and audit log summary or audit summary view, here you will find two items. You will find in the event the associate entities and associate entities. Associate entities event is nothing but adding new security role. And here you can see this security role is associated with the uh, user Sudhir Ranjan. Now, if you open the de associated entity, you can understand this security role has been removed from this user, right? So, this is the user record, and uh, uh, which secret role has been removed that will be available in details when you open the record, right? This is how you can enable security role addition and removal uh, auditing in Dataverse. I hope you understand. Thank you, guys. Bye.